How happy are you? Oh yeah, this made my day. I never thought I'd see this thing back. <laughs> the stolen trailer is again with its rightful owner, but Coin6 discovers the crime exposes a loophole that encourages crooks to steal. Last week, we told you about a thief with a bold marketing plan. He advertised a trailer on Craigslist before he even stole it from a house in mm. Clark County. Now, our Dan Tilkin discovered an Oregon law that makes it easy for the crooks to get away with it. What's this about, Dan? Well, this is the ad we're talking about, the center of all this. This is a case of buyer beware, especially when buying things across the Oregon-Washington border. And I owe it to the tenacity of my son, Ken. Russ Dunn's son, Ken, scoured Craigslist and finally found this ad. It's his dad's trailer that was stolen from in front of his Vancouver house a month ago. Now, in the photograph that he put on the ad, you could see this back wall, and this is where I ran out of paint. So I had to paint this real thin. When I saw the picture, there was no doubt in my mind. This is the trailer. Ken went to see the trailer in person at Dick Salmon's house. Just bought it from the guy on Craigslist. Dick spotted the trailer for sale in this previous ad on Craigslist. It was posted by the thief for $300. And what's really disturbing? The ad shows the trailer still in Russ Dunn's driveway, next to Russ's truck, in front of Russ's house. The thief took a picture for his ad before he stole the trailer. Even worse, look at the day and time. It shows the ad posted on the 27th. The thief didn't steal the trailer until the 28th. Dick Salmon thinks he bought the trailer right after it was advertised. Does it seem like it was stolen? I did. Oregon trailers don't have titles, so I bought it. <laughs> Listen again to what he said. Oregon trailers don't have titles. He's right. Look at the Oregon DMV website, and it says right here, you do not have to register a light trailer. That means no title, no license plate. And that's different from the state of Washington, where everything on the road has to be licensed. So thieves like the one who stole Russ Dunn's trailer only have to claim any trailer they're selling is from the unregulated land of Oregon. And he said the trailer was from Oregon. Yeah, I said it like it was a girlfriend or some woman there. The plates are missing, and so is the uh, so is the sticker that had the VIN number. If you look on Craigslist, you will see trailer thieves have been busy. Lots of owners are advertising, hoping for tips about the thieves who stole their property. And remember this. Surveillance video showing a truck backing up to a trailer in another Vancouver neighborhood in November. A neighbor confronts the thieves. The truck took off, leaving one behind. The neighbor tackled the thief, but he got away empty handed. One trailer saved, and in Russ Dunn's case, one trailer returned. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Dan. I yeah. appreciate I appreciate everything you did. Uh, you know, it's at least people are aware that this sort of thing's going on. All right, and here's a warning. If you buy a trailer with no identifying markings on it and you try to license it in the state of Washington, you may never be yeah. able to license it. You have to do what's called a lost title search. My sister tried to do that once. Good luck with that. And wow. Dan, I was telling Dan I had a utility trailer that I bought from an employee here at Coin who lived in Vancouver, so it had a Washington plate on it. Then I went to Oregon DMV and said I need a, a plate. They